Hey guys, it's Jenny Wallach with Wallach Real Estate Group in Tulsa, Oklahoma, Keller Williams Realty Advantage. I am so excited to introduce you to my friend, Justin Seabee from Atlanta. Hello everyone, how are you? Justin, thank you for taking your time to talk with us today. You know, recently you were up on a stage and I've seen some video and you and your business partner, Graham, have been killing it in getting reviews from your past clients. Yes. And that's amazing. And we would love for you to share that with us today. So well, first, yeah. let's have you introduce yourself and talk about where you're from, how people can contact you, and also your production last year and your goals for this year. Perfect. We are in Atlanta, Georgia. We service pretty much anywhere around surrounding Atlanta. Um, last year we did about 325 units. Uh, right around 90 million. Um, a lot of that we attribute to online reviews and things like that. So if you want to get in touch with us, it's easy. It's, you can go to our website. It's GSG. It's George Sam George Realty.com. Awesome. And uh, what are your goals for this year? 125 million, 400 units. Okay. Are you on track so far? We started out really well. Usually January is slow. And for us this year, for some reason, we did a little over 10 million or we'll do a little over 10 million this January. So it's Wonder. looking good. That is great. Well, so today we're going to talk about reviews and this will apply to agents, whether they're a single agent or starting a team or a big team like you of, of how you can share tips with them. So First off, how did this come about that you realized the value of reviews and then just walk us through the steps of your growth through that? So there was a point about three years ago where we actually started pushing hard for reviews. We really didn't know why. We knew that there was social proof that needed to be made. I mean, you look at the millennials, they make up the biggest buying population ever. And they do their voyeurs. They do their research. They, I can watch them on my website, read the bios of every one of my agents before they actually pick one. And so, you know, and I think on average, and AR said they go to about eight to 12 different websites before they find an agent. So we kind of had this small little push uh, about three years ago. And then Zillow did a change in their analytics on how they rank people. And we had big companies or big teams that were, you know, 30 miles north of us that were doing a lot of sales and had good reviews and they were always popping up as number one on Zillow. Right. Uh, and then when they changed the analytics and they realized that this person was selling 45 miles away and that we were actually selling more here and we had more reviews in the specific Atlanta market, we went to number one, the phone started ringing. And in one day I literally looked at my business partner and I said, something happened. And I went to Zillow and I searched for agents in Atlanta and we were number one. And now we get probably, about a call a week from agents outside of KW that are just finding agents in Atlanta and they go to Zillow and they put, you know, who's the top agent in Atlanta. And, and then on top of that, obviously we're getting a ton of people probably, you know, I'm looking at our reviews last year, we did 9% just on Zillow. So that equates to about 27 homes last year, but then you add in realtor.com at 6% Yelp at 5%. You know, we're getting a lot more business. We probably sell, sold close to 70 homes last year just based on reviews. Wow. That's, yeah, that's great. It, it's, it, it, it is amazing and it blew our minds. And, and the great thing about it is we're not really spending money on it. Yeah. Uh, very little money. And it's not even on Zillow or Truly or Yelp or Realtor.com. Mm -hmm. It's on helping getting reviews from our past clients and our SOI. So there you go. You have just led into the why to do it. And now let's talk about the how to do it. Well, the how to do it is not easy. Um, and it's like, it's like lead generation. It takes a long time. You know, you've got to set a plan, put it in place and then keep doing it over and over and over and over again. I mean, it's been three years. I think on Zillow, we probably have close to 350 reviews right now. And that's big. That's a big number. Um, but it took a long time to get there. You know, and then we, we started working into different places like Yelp. Um, if you're a Yelper, then you understand this. Yelpers we, are come list me or come help me buy a house. By the time they get to us, it's bring listing papers, meet me at the house, and we're going to sign up and list with you today. So, you know, that's a great source we started getting into recently. Mm -hmm. um, Realtor.com and then Trulia, 
Truly and Zilla are kind of the same ones. They kind of share reviews anyway now that they've merged them. So, you know, just work hard. Um, it, it, it takes a lot of work. Uh, we do, we ask for it at the first time home buyer presentation. We ask for it at a listing appointment. So you got your buyer seller. Then we ask for it when we go under contract. We ask for it after the inspection. We ask for it after the appraisal. We ask for it at closing. And then beyond that, we call them four times a year and ask for it. And so when we're going to keep calling them. So what does that ask sound like? Well, I mean, it's different. There's different things like we do. So one of the things we do is kind of a, a giveaway. Let's see if you can see that. Yeah. Um, this is a postcard that we send out. And you can see there's multiple sites that you can register on and do a review. If you do one on one site, you generally get like one review. I think here we had Angie's List, Yelp, Facebook, Realtor.com, and Zillow. And, but if you do it on all of them, then we'll give you like 10 entries into like an iPad giveaway. So that's one of the ways we do it. Um, I mean, the other way when we ask, it's once you build an online review, you can validate yourself that way. Right. And I think that's important because, you know, going on listing presentations and talking about yourself and telling everybody how great you are gets old, you know, but being able to go, hey, here's four different sources that you can go to and read about what our clients are saying about us. I think that's very powerful. I think it's more powerful than me saying, we're great. Other people are saying it. Right. Well, Justin, tell me exactly what does that script sound like? You're sitting down with me as a, as your, at your buyer consultation and you said you asked for it. So how does that well, go? Well, I mean, we're very, we're, very, we're very intentional about it and it's, and it's very simple. It's, hey, as we go through the process, we're going to ask you to write a review about us and share with, with everybody else our experience. You know, we also explain to them that we don't have the ability to remove reviews. So like if we get, if we had a bad one, we couldn't take it down. Um, most of ours are five star. I don't think we've gotten anything under four star. Um, but we tell them and explain to them the process and say, as you read these, understand that, you know, if someone had a bad experience with us, they would put it there. Um, and, and, and as you're going through that process, we're going to ask you to, to write what you feel about us and how you feel we're doing. And so it's just consistently the same thing. Okay, so I'm a super duper systems person, so I have questions about this system. When you, as the buyer agent, get that brand new buyer to give you a review from the very beginning, how are they marked off the list so nobody else on the team is going to keep bugging them? Well, so, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, and, and that's a great question because, honestly, the agent is always responsible for their client. Okay. So there's one person that's always responsible. Our systems are just in place to make sure that the agent's doing their job to try to get that review. So okay. like my operations manager, now partner, Joan Ware, she basically will print out a list of people that haven't written a review for you and give you a list once a quarter. Uh -huh. Basically, You go through and you call those people that quarter. Okay, now just because in building a team, and we know that it's all about team, and there's no I in team, it's we, are you giving the client direction on, will you mention the agent's name or is it the team or the agent and the team? Give me some details on that. So it's a great That's question. Fine. No, it's a great question. So one, we have one team account for every one of those, Realtor, Trulia, Zillow, and Yelp. Mm -hmm. um, and then all the reviews go under that master account because otherwise you'll have five agents that have a couple of reviews. Okay. You'll have an agent that has, you know, you want all the reviews in one place, especially if you're a team leader or building a team okay. or the, the rainmaker, you want to build that as, and get as many as you can. Now we do encourage them, the buyer or the seller to mention the agent's name. And usually they do. If it's Tracy, they'll go, I work with Tracy Holden at GSG Realty and mm -hmm. she was amazing. And for these reasons, um, but yeah, and then we keep those reviews as part of our agreement with the, uh, with the agents as they sign on is that all those reviews stay with the team. If, if you okay. receive the review while you're on the team, it's going to stay with us. Right. Well, and that's just to help generate more business, which you're as being the team leader going to share with them as well. So that's a great uh, system. So do you celebrate or reward the agents or team members that are bringing in reviews or is the reward just that they... It's happen. funny, we've, we've kind of done both um, just to kind of test it and see. And we didn't really get a different result um, yeah. because we talk about it so much. 
And because like we'll do, we do little competitions within our team. And one of the things that you get a point for would be getting a review, you know, having a closing new BBA, new listing, all the little things. But one of the, one of the things is if you, if you get a review, you get a point. And then we do give away gifts and prizes to our team members based on those points once a month. So yeah, there's kind of a little incentive there, but we, we did try to do like a big one once and we just didn't get really a different result than not doing it that way. So it kind of sounds like it's just the culture of your team. You it are is. a team that get reviews and that's a part of being on the team. It is. And like, we have a glass door here when you walk into my office and on the door, there's a sign that says, have you gotten a review today? And we talk about it all the time. Now, on top of that, when an agent gets a review, it lifts them up and they love yeah. it. You know, and, and when a review comes in, we send it out to the whole team and we copy everybody on it and say, great job, Paul, or whoever for getting this review. And everybody responds like, that's awesome. You did a great job. So a lot of that too, it's just uplifting and helps them grow. That is a great way to uplift and add to your culture. That's really cool. So now that you've been doing this reviews thing for a while and you're getting pretty good at it, are you seeing still places where you have room for improvement? So, yeah, I mean, so one of the things I would do is pick one and go with it. Like, you know, we picked Zillow and pushed really hard for a long period of time. And then we started thinking, you know, we need to really kind of get outside of that. And like, you know, you look at this one and we've got Zillow. Angie's List is a crazy one that people are like, why would you do Angie's List? Well, you know, on Angie's List, you can like if you do professional photography, like that's one of our things we do. Um, for every listing that we have. So you go on Angie's List, create an account, and then you put, you know, if you use us as an Angie's List member, you'll get free professional photography, which is something we're going to do anyway, but it makes them happy. And so we get a lot of stuff from there. Yelp, uh, like I said, it's the last thing that we really started pushing hard on. Um, and by far, like we looked at the analytics of it. Um, last year we did, if I'm looking at this, we did 9% on Zillow, and about 7% on Yelp, but we've got 10 times more reviews on Zillow than we do Yelp. Right. That just shows you that Yelpers are really, really serious people, and, you, and you've got to really focus in on those people. Okay, so I have a Yelp account, and I never look at it, and I've never done anything to it. So for those of us who aren't experienced in the Yelp world, what's the mindset of those people then? Because you're calling them Yelpers, so they must have their own little thing going it, on. It's, it's, so, well, it's, it's so hard to get a review there. Um, you know, and, and in most of these sites, it's very difficult. So let me walk you through this. You know, one of the things we tried to do was get reviews is written at the table, the closing table. We close, I don't know where, how everybody closes differently, but here the sellers and the buyers meet and we close. And so we were like, well, let's just write a review, you know, here, have them do it while they're waiting. Um, but all these websites require that every review be written from a different IP address. And we didn't know that. And so we lost probably like 30 or 40 different reviews. So if you have a husband and wife, and maybe they're buying and selling and they want to write two reviews for you. If they both write them from home, you're not going to get it. You know, you'll get one, you won't get the other and it'll just never show up. So that's the same thing with Yelp and Zillow and Trulia. I don't know about realtor.com, but I'm pretty sure if they're not there yet, they will get there. So, you know, you've got to really work hard and make sure that they write them at different places. All right. So Yelpers, um, they're even more difficult because they have to validate the account. Like, you know, it's not only, that you signed up, all right, so let's walk through Zillow. You have to sign up, create an account, validate your email address, and leave it open for 24 hours, or the, the review would never post, right? So if one of those five things doesn't happen, you'll never see it. Okay. On Yelp, you have to do all those things as well, but you also have to write reviews for other companies and other restaurants and other things that you're doing. If, if you just generally go on there and do one review and never log back in, Yelp won't post it. Wow. So one of the things we ask, and this is a good point, is when we meet with our clients, we say, um, go ahead and create a Yelp account today and start reviewing restaurants and things like that mm -hmm. as we're going through this process. So you can see how difficult that would be to have someone have to create an account in the beginning, write reviews for other things, and then eventually write a review for you so they all post. Wow. That you have, I'm so grateful you've already learned all this for us <laughs> it was it was a hard process we kept going where are our reviews why are we not getting them but yeah so we're we're we've worked through it. we stumbled failed forward a lot on this yeah 
So uh, before we got on this call, we chatted about some ahas. Now that you've been doing this for a while, what would you share with others have been your, your greatest? So um, I've had a lot of people like Justin Landis. He's, he's a big agent here with us. And um, so he tried to get a lot of reviews and worked hard at it for probably, I think he said like 18 months, almost two years and didn't, couldn't get the results that we were getting. Um, and so we sat down and we talked and he asked me, what's the big thing? And the big thing for us was doing the type of giveaway and making it sort of a competition. Mm -hmm. And so as we walked through, like, you know, you saw the, the, the one on the iPad and then here's one, like we did a green egg. This was a postcard yeah. we sent out. It was a big green egg giveaway. Um, when you add something of value to it and tell them it's a competition and the more, you know, if you write on different sites, you can get more entries and we're going to do a drawing here. We actually have people like last, the last one we did, Graham and I were headed to mega agent camp and it was, uh, we were two days late on the drawing and we had people calling us going, yeah. I haven't seen the results yet. I haven't seen the results. And so, you know, just that competition. So going back to Justin, you know, he in a mastermind not too long ago, he said, you know, when I started doing the add-ons, the giveaways, like it, it all of a sudden I started getting reviews mm -hmm. now and keep in mind guys you might get one in ten I mean it's not easy it's not easy to get they're not easy to, to get people I mean, people commit to it but it's just it's so time-consuming and sometimes they won't do it so if you're getting 10% of the people you're asking that's a pretty good number so basically it sounds like you need to sell more houses so you have more <laughs> that's right just sell a thousand more houses so you can get 100 <laughs> reviews a year <laughs> you know, but doing it on the cross marketing, the cross platforms really helps too. you know, doing right. the one, I think the biggest one was the one that we got the most reviews are the one that we had like four or five different platforms mm -hmm. and gave them additional entries if they did one on each one. I think we got total 300, but it was like across five different platforms. So that was a big one. Do you also uh, reach out to get reviews on Facebook? Absolutely. Yeah. And okay, you know, that, that was one on this one as well. Okay. So I just didn't read it. But yeah, Facebook's big. Um, Facebook's easier to get reviews on because yeah. generally you kind of know people when you're connected somehow. So, and, and that one doesn't require any of the IP stuff. It doesn't, it doesn't require any of that opening account. So that one's really, that was the easiest one. Yelp's the hardest. Zillow's kind of right in the middle. Yeah, well, I just absolutely know these days everybody is starting their search online and their, their research online. They're going to just make sure that you are great. I don't buy a pair of shoes unless I read all the reviews. First. I know. Yeah. <laughs> well, what would you say would be your final, if you only could do this one thing to get started, this is what you start with right now. The one thing on getting reviews, mm -hmm. I'd say pick a site and you know, we pick Zillow and be very intentional about it. Be very consistent. Again, it's like lead generation. You got to do it every day and just keep going and going and going. Um, I would add some type of giveaway to it and go to people you know. Start with you know your, when I say PC, which is past clients and SOI, which is your sphere of influence. Mm -hmm. You know, go to people you know and just be very intentional about it. You know, hey Jenny, I helped you buy a house. I know you are very happy. It is so very, very important for, for my business for you to write a review. Do you think you have time to do that? Will you help me? And just be very intentional about asking that question over and over. and what we always say is in the conversation with if you know if, if you have don't have a chance to do it this week i'll call you back next week to remind you so get their permission to call them back well and i heard you also say before make it easy for them yep do whatever you can i mean you, you got to explain the process and, and unfortunately it's not really easy mm -hmm. you know you have to do certain things but explain the process to them so they understand i mean a lot of times i'll say i know this is going to be a pain in your butt you know, trust me, this is not going to be easy. Like set it up so they understand what they're going through. Are you rewarding them if they go through the pain? I guess that's when they get entered into the drawings. They get entered into the drawings. And then, you know, when we do a drawing, we do it in our office and the whole team's here and yeah. we rattle something and make noises. And then we pick a name and we video the whole thing. And then we put it on Facebook on our, on our page and yeah. we tell everybody to go there to see who won. Right. Well, that's fun. It sounds like you're creating an awesome culture with your agents inside of your team because 
man, whenever you get a pat on the back from a past client that you've worked with, that makes everyone feel good and makes all of the work we do all worth it. And, Absolutely. and then you're bringing in new people to your world and your business by other positive reviews you've already had in the past. So what a great way to build your business. So thank you for sharing all that. Oh, it's been my pleasure. <laughs> hey, Justin, if people want to reach out to you for a referral, what's the best way they can get you? Hit us on our website at www.gsgrealty.com. You can email me directly at info, I-N-F-O, at gsgrealty.com, and we'll get back to you and go from there. Well, I appreciate you so much, and thanks for being a great friend, and I will see you real soon. If you guys need anything from me, my number is 918-706-9845. Have a great day. Bye. Yeah. Bye.